Alright, what's up guys? Um, so today we're going to be working on some uh, problems from the 2018 MIT Integration B qualifying exam. And so if you're kind of unfamiliar with it, essentially MIT every year hosts an Integration B, which is basically like a spelling bee, but for math nerds, uh, where they compete uh, in kind of a 1v1 bracket system to uh, see who can get, who can solve the integral the fastest. Uh, some of these integrals are, are pretty pretty tough and uh, kind of notorious for being really, really hard. But I think as you'll see, um, they're not they're not all that bad. And, you know, after your first year of calculus, maybe after your second year of calculus for some of them, uh, I think we'll be able to tackle most of these. Uh, no problem. So let's get started. So here we have problem one. It's the integral of e to the x over e to the x plus 2 dx. So I think what we're going to start with um, is maybe we can use our favorite um, trick, which is a u substitution, and we'll say that u uh, equals e to the x plus 2. And the trick here is we're trying to kind of take that uh, the denominator, um, take the denominator and make that just a u, and then uh, we know that because 2 is a constant and the derivative of e to the x, or sorry, um, the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, I can take the derivative of u du, and that will just be e to the x dx, and that is the numerator. So that's why I took the du as e to the x plus 2. Um, I could have said it's just e to the x, um, but it works out a lot nicer if I just take make u my entire denominator and work it out that way. So this, um, using a substitution, we have our integral, which is the integral of um, e to the x dx becomes just du, and e uh, to the x plus 2 becomes u, um, which is essentially the same as the integral of 1 over u du, and so that's just um, the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c, uh, which, if we move this up here, that's the same as, uh, because u is e to the x plus 2, uh, it's the same as the natural log of the absolute value e to the x plus 2 plus c. And that is the answer. 